Well, hello guys. Here on another tutorial, uh, also regarding Project D, and this one I'm going to well give you a few tips on how to set up the car for drifting. So first of all, well after you bought it, just go on the vehicle upgrades. So I'm about the external, just the visual. I won't go much on it. Uh, what you mostly need is the engine. Gearbox, brakes, steering pack ratio, real fuel settings, if you have the plugin, which we will show you in another tutorial. I'm not sure yet about that. So, so about the engine, you have a large ratio of horsepower. I personally would recommend 420 to 500, so I just go with 500. Then, as a gearbox, uh, well, I always use the Hollinger sequential box. And uh, well, for here, just use the Brembo GT kit. For steering pack ratio, of course, you want most uh, steer lock as possible, so you go with the D1GP, which goes to 55 degrees of lock. The real fill settings, well, if you have the real fill plugin installed, just go with this one, the real fill feedback. As you can see here already on the description, must have a real fill plugin installed. Now, for the tires, you have the Project D 2.0 tires and the street radial uh, tires. I prefer the street radial tires, but a lot of guys use the Project D ones. Uh, on the street radial tires, you have three different types of tires. You have the high grip, grip ratios, uh, the street, and the junk. The junk are the ones which are, which are like totally ruined, destroyed. The street ones are pretty much okay, and the high grip are the grippy tires. For this car, I would choose the street radial. For uh, for more than like 600, 700 horsepower, I would use the high grip ones. But yeah, let's go with the Project D ones. So after you've done that, we go just go for any track. Let's just go with. Hmm, question: What what should we use? Don't know though. I'll just go with this. Silverstone. Well, here it's called something different. I don't know why. But so yeah. So after you've done that, uh, well, once you enter the game, of course, the, the menu, you go to the garage. Then you have here the tire compound. Well, Falcon tires are not pretty good. I personally would recommend Yokohama tires, which for me feel the best. If you want some extreme creepy tires, though unrealistic, Go with the Letza ones. Those are grippy as hell. Uh, well, then you go to general. Here you have steering lock, which is already max. For the brake BS, it has now 73 to 25. So it has 73% of the pressure on the front. I would choose like 60 40. That's what I always do. If you feel that it needs more, more on the front, you can always add. Here you can put more in this. For a differential lock, I would leave it like this. For the weight, like this is pretty good, but if you feel that the car is not having too much grip or not feeling the car's weight, you can put 50-50 or 48-52. For the gear settings, mains are this. I always choose to 4.8, 4.08. If it's a long track, you can put more. If it's a short track, you put less. And don't forget, if you... The smaller the number, the longer the gearbox is. So yeah, and if you want, you can of course just find set, uh, find set every gear. Now we go to the suspension. Here's the most important part. For the camber, the front, I would recommend this. For the rear, I would say 2.5, pretty much. For the tire pressure, put a lot more. Let's leave it like 255, both. For spring rate, you can leave on 80-80. Though if you feel that the car is not really, well, it's too bouncy, you can put more. Here, I always put on all on nine. For the Packers, leave it like this. And for the right height, I I always use 10 on the back and 12 on the front. The front, it's always better to have the front a bit more up. It's always better. For the advance, for the toe-in, I would pretty much leave zero. 
for the well the front toe end I mean zero zero and for the rear zero point twenty. For the caster leave it at nine degrees. So if then you go test it the uh, you go test the car if you like if you like the setting and you want to use it you just go on save. Just use any name, let's just use R32 here. Accept. Then every but you can't forget that it always saves on the folder of the track you're using. If you now go to another track and wish to have to go with the same settings, you simply go to that to that um, folder where it's saved here at the NAS International. Just then have the setup here. Then press assign. Or if you just want to use it for that time, just to load. If you want it to use every time, you just put assign. So if you're ready to go, then just go on a track and have fun. So this was it for this tutorial. Hope you helped you, few of you, to set up the car. If you have any tips regarding to have better settings or so on, tell them in the comments, subscribe and just message us, and then just tell it. And we will try to make a better tutorial next time. So see you.